Welcome to the program called uh, the short chat with non-Prague musician for Prague Zebra community and uh, I'm very happy to have you here. My first question is what did make you become the person you are today? Do you want the long or the short answer? Just in brief. Everything. Every day of your life changes you and adds to your personality. Based on the music genre you're working on, where do you think the most of your fans are? Well, first of all, I think I don't have so many fans, but if I have any, they will be in the, in the area of improvised music and maybe saxophone players uh, who tend to be specialized maybe on soprano saxophone mm -hmm. because that's my main instrument although it got a little bit in the background when I started to play a lot of bass clarinet but um, yeah maybe wind instrument players in the improvisational field I would say yes can you tell me three of the most uh, inspiring artists uh, who have influenced you in your career? Yes. The one is uh, John Coltrane. Mm -hmm. And then the next is Wayne Shorter. And then there is Keith Jarrett. And then there is uh, Vincent van Gogh. They don't have uh, to do with the wind instruments, the last two, but yeah, they really inspired me. And um, there's, the list can be very long or very short, but you asked only for three and yeah. I gave you four. So that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Well, we are in the digital world. Do you prefer uh, to listen on the uh, music on Spotify or you would like to buy a hard copy? No, I definitely pre prefer to buy a hard copy. Mm -hmm. And I like to listen to my collection of old LPs at home. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the warmth and the directness of the musical perception when you listen to an analog medium like an LP, when the process of the recording was also analog mm -hmm. is unparalleled by CD or Spotify because there is such a high compression of the data that a lot of aspects that remain below the level of consciousness but still add to the musical experience are taken away during the process of the compression and it flattens the emotional impact that the listening has on on the, on you on the listener. You know. yeah. So I definitely prefer analog. Even though in in the solo program that I will perform also here, there is a lot of uh, computer involved. I think it's necessary not to damn the digital age because it's, it seems to be unstoppable but there's definitely some advantages to analog processes because it's their continuity in time that is that cannot be imitated by the digital process everything digital cuts makes little portions of something in time and these little portions they come one after the other in a very fast succession but still you have to divide it first to be able to process it digitally and the analog process is the same as making music it's a continuity in time and so listening to an analog recording gives you exactly this the same level of continuity and you get the closest possible to the original situation of the recording when the recording was done. This is why 
listening to MP3s or Spotify or other streaming services can be very practical for purposes of quick research, but when I really want to listen to music, I, n I need a different source. I understand that. Do you have any thoughts on uh, progressive rock genre? I think it's awesome. Who's your favorite artist uh, on that genre? I'm a big fan of Frank Zappa. Frank Zappa. Yes, absolutely. I'm also a big fan of Genesis. I think that's fantastic music. I'm I'm very much inspired by by Genesis, for example. It's the it's a, a certain symphonic approach to rock music and a very very with a very strong sense of composition and development and I really love love that that's uh, fabulous I think that's very good. Frank Zappa is more is more the freaky kind although he wrote pieces for chamber orchestra and for orchestra in general uh, he wrote beautiful music it's uh, it's more even more freaky Frank Zappa but Genesis is Genesis for me is uh, tops tops the the genre as far as the music goes and because I love the, the I love the the voice of Peter Gabriel and I'm a big fan of everything that he did but also with this group now as a solo artist I I, I really think he's great but with Genesis that was uh, very special Lastly, which one of your songs would you like to be played at the end of this interview for the listeners and the people who watch this interview? Which one of my songs? Yeah. I don't know which songs of me you know. So I, I have difficulties to... Two more minutes. I have difficulties to find an answer. Are we talking about the Amira record? or Anything. Any anything. record that you have done. Any record that I have done, yeah. Maybe there is a tune on my solo album. There is a tune called uh, "Quarter to Five. The first one on this one. I think that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Thank you for taking the time to share your thoughts about Progressive Rock and the music in general. My pleasure. Yeah. Good luck with your career.
Get it, get it, get it.